It won't be long before high school football players return to the practice field. During these hot summer days, it's critical to stay hydrated. In tonight's Your Health Matters, TV6's Blair Caldwell tells us how coaches are making sure athletes are drinking enough water. It's not uncommon for students to show up dehydrated to practice before the hard work even begins, according to the Southwest Athletic Trainers Association. It's a constant uphill battle, and that's why coaches stress the importance of drinking water and sports drinks to their teens. That's the number one priority. Any, any camp, any practice, any program, any classroom is safety. And hydration is a huge part of that, especially outside here with, well, with any sport, really. This week is the 17th annual West Iron County football camp where around 235 students from 12 different schools will play outside for three days. They have a watering trough students can go to at any time. They also provide cold towels and time inside air conditioning for students as well. You know, we keep a close eye on it and we're fortunate. We're just wearing helmets, we aren't in full pads. We're not doing live tackling drills, so you're not going to get quite as uh, heated up in a camp like this than you would during the regular season. Michigan High School Athletic Association does have regulations for coaches and practice according to the heat. Coaches are always looking for signs of heat stroke like muscle cramps, lightheadedness, and weakness. Coaches say drinking water is important before, during, and after practice and will adjust their routine to the weather if needed. Players, however, say they don't worry. You know, there's always plenty of breaks. I mean, Depending on how hot it is, they'll usually compensate with more water breaks, things like that. So there's never a time where you're really needing water a ton. You always give you time for that. Coaches say it's the combination of hydration, sleep, and nutrition that makes their teams a success when they take the field this fall. Reporting in Iron River, Blair Caldwell, TV6 News.